San Diego draws millions of people to visit, work, and live within the city. But the economy and quality of life that San Diegans enjoy depends on a reliable supply of water. In an average year, San Diego receives only 10 inches of rain. A lack of local drinking water sources is a long-term challenge. The city imports 85% of its water supply from the Colorado River and Northern California. With limited local control over its water supply, San Diego is vulnerable to rising imported water costs from its wholesalers, recurring droughts, climate change, and natural disasters. For these reasons and more, the city is implementing Pure Water San Diego. It is a phased, multi-year program that will provide one-third of San Diego's water supply locally by 2035 using proven water purification technology. San Diego's existing water supply system is primarily a single-use system. Imported and local water supplies are stored in the city's reservoirs. The water is cleaned at a drinking water treatment plant before it's distributed to homes and businesses. The majority of our wastewater is sent to the Point Loma Wastewater Treatment Plant, where it is cleaned and discharged to the ocean. Our remaining wastewater is recycled at our two water reclamation plants and used for irrigation and industrial purposes. The Pure Water program will complete the cycle. It will purify the recycled water produced at the water reclamation plant using proven technology so it can be added to the city's drinking water supply. When the Pure Water program is implemented, the purified water will be blended with imported and local water supplies in local reservoirs. It will also be cleaned again at local drinking water treatment plants before it becomes part of our drinking water supply. To confirm the safety and feasibility of the water purification process, the city has been operating a 1 million gallon per day demonstration pure water facility since June 2011. The city's water purification process includes five steps that work together to protect public health. The first step of the purification process is called ozonation. Ozone gas is infused into the recycled water and the water travels through a long series of pipes called the ozone contactor. The ozone destroys microorganisms and reacts with and breaks down contaminants in the water. The ozone is consumed and is converted into oxygen prior to the next step. Next, the water goes through biological activated carbon filters. The filters are filled with helpful bacteria which thrive in the presence of oxygen. The bacteria on the filters consume 30 to 50 percent of anything that is living or was living. The next step is membrane filtration. The membranes filter out particles, viruses, and bacteria in the water. Only water, salts, and other very small molecules can pass through the membrane pores and down the center of the straws. Imagine, these pores are 300 times narrower than a human hair. Next, the water goes through reverse osmosis. Using high pressure pumps, water molecules are forced through spirally wound membranes. Reverse osmosis filters out additional materials, even those that are 50,000 times smaller than the smallest bacteria and viruses. Water is last sent through a process called ultraviolet disinfection. In these units, the power of ultraviolet light, similar to extremely concentrated sunlight, penetrates the water and destroys the DNA of any microbes and viruses that may be present. At the same time, advanced oxidation generates powerful reactive molecules that destroy any trace contaminants that might remain in the water. The result of this multi-barrier process is purified water. To date, more than 28,000 lab tests have confirmed that the purified water produced meets or exceeds all drinking water standards. The Pure Water program will be implemented in three phases over a 20-year period. Phase 1 includes the construction of the North City Pure Water Facility on Eastgate Mall, just north of Miramar Road. Water produced at this facility will be stored in Miramar Reservoir and cleaned again at the Miramar Drinking Water Plant before it's distributed to the public. The North City facility will be operational by 2021 and produce 30 million gallons of water per day. Subsequent phases will include the construction of two additional pure water facilities. One will be centrally located near the airport on Harbor Drive. Water produced here will be sent to either Lake Murray or San Vicente Reservoir and cleaned at the Alvarado Drinking Water Plant. 
An additional pure water facility will be located in the South Bay. This water will be stored in Lower Otai Reservoir and cleaned again at the Otai Drinking Water Plant. The facilities in the Central Area and South Bay will be operational by 2035 and produce 53 million gallons of water per day. When completed, the Pure Water Program will produce a total of 83 million gallons of water per day that will be distributed throughout the city of San Diego. That is equivalent to one-third of San Diego's future water needs. By investing in the Pure Water Program, we can ensure a safe, reliable, and sustainable water supply for generations to come. To learn more about Pure Water San Diego, visit purewatersd.org.